Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been having a pleasant exchange with a friend of the channel, Akil, and he first asked me about using the TTGO LoRa 32 with Bluetooth, and so I made this video, and you can see in that video, the receiver sends the received signal to the terminal program on my phone via Bluetooth, which is kind of handy, but he wants to look at the RSSI value of the BLE or Bluetooth signal. Now, what is RSSI? RSSI stands for Received Signal Strength Indicator. So he wants to kind of use it for a triangulation of BLE devices within his house. Interesting concept. So I went ahead and did some Google searching and found this on Stack Overflow. The person is asking, how do I get RSSI of my BLE devices? And that answer is right here. Basically, advertised device, get RSSI. So we're going to go ahead and mash up some code. Look for the links in the description down below. And we're going to go out into the wild to demonstrate this. Okay, so let's look at the scenario. I made up these little stands for the ESP32s. They have the battery and then they hold the ESP32 upright. So you get that BLE antenna up there. And here I am using the scanner. Yeah, you can see the number two beacon is a lot lower, a lot weaker than the other three at 87 when uh, the others range from 30 to 40. So now we're out at the park here and I've put these out. We're actually on a baseball field, so I put first at first place and two is on second and so on. There's my lovely wife. She's helping me with this here. Yeah. There's the beacons placed at the bases of a baseball field. And here's the readings here of all four beacons. And, yeah, the two shows up, but it just barely makes it at, at 95 there. And then, yeah, two consistently dropped off because it was so much weaker than the other beacons. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the mashup code. First of all, on my GitHub page here, I'm including T-Display print line example. It's the minimum amount of code to put text on the TTGO T-Display screen. I'm also including this TTGO T-Display button minimum, the minimum amount of code to make the two little buttons on the TTGO T-Display work. And then the finished work product, the TTGO T-Display BLE RSSI. So we're mashing up BLE scan here. This is under examples. And it's down here. It's included with the Arduino IDE. These are the example sketches under ESP32 BLE Arduino. We're using scan, which we're going to mash up. And then we're also going to use BLE server. It's essentially going to act as a beacon. And the only thing we're going to change in the code here is we're going to have four different devices acting as beacons. And we're going to name them one through four like that and send that to that device. So we have four different devices, one through four, using the BLE server, and then we're going to scan for them and return the received signal strength. Let's finish checking out the code. So we looked at BLE server. Now, BLE scan, this line of code here, returns the entire advertised device information, which includes the name, the MAC address, and the transmit strength. Apparently you can configure the strength of the BLE transmitter. And it, basically it's so much information that it wipes out most of the TTGO T display screen. So I wanted to just return the name of the advertised device. Let's go look at the mashed up code here. I'm gonna start at the top. You can see here we're firing up the TFT ESPI for the screen on the TTGO T display. Here's the beginning of the button code that I've added to BLE scan. Now here's the code for BLE scan. This class, my advertised device callbacks, actually is what goes out and gets the list of devices. So here you see I'm getting the advertised device radio signal strength indication and printing that on the screen. Then I'm printing a couple of spaces and I had to work this out how to get just the name so we're not filling up that screen. 
So I'm saying print line, advertise device, get name, and you need to tack on this dot C underbar string because this is an interesting class that's a little bit different than what you're used to working with in the Arduino code. So it's, it's a different type of string. I tried converting it to string and they also had this C underbar string in their example code originally, but that was applying it to the entire advertised device class. But here, again, like I say, I'm just getting the name. So it's RSSI and then the name on the screen. And you can get about eight devices in the list that way, which will be plenty for our purposes with the four beacons. And it's actually interesting. This scan time is five seconds, and it will over and over reiteratively get a list of all the devices. So you have multiple lines of the same device over and over and over again. But it, it, th this sketch in this particular use case will work pretty effectively. Let's go see what else is on here. Yeah, some more button stuff. Here we go in void setup. We're basically setting up the TTGO T display screen. Green text with the black background. Text size is two. That's pretty readable on the little screen. Initiating the buttons. Initiating the BLE device. Then in void loop, we're just waiting for a button click to start a new scan. Fill the screen, set the cursor, print scanning on the screen, and then list out the found devices by calling out the BLE scan results, which goes back to this class here where we're printing the RSSI and device name on the screen. Okay, so we're ready to go out into the wild now for demonstration. Let's go. Again, this is that BLE server. And this is the BLE scanner that we mashed up with TTGO bits so that we could do this. All right, so I'm out on fourth base here, and you can see four is the lowest number, and I can see three, and I can see one. I can't see two from fourth base. Now we're going to set out from fourth base on the way down to first base. My wife's covering all the action from over there. All right, I made it to first base here. Let's get a reading. So I'm pushing the scan button. Well, I can't pick up two from first base either. That's interesting. And you see one is the lowest of the RSSI numbers in the 60s compared to the 80s and the 90s for three and four. Oh. I'm not seeing four here either. Okay, there comes four, and I lost three. Okay, let's head to second base now. I'm calling in signals. Here we are at second base. Let's get a reading. And when we look at the reading here, two just is barely stronger than the other three. Let's take a look. Yeah, two's in the 80s, three's in the 80s, one's in the 90s, and four's in the 80s. Yeah, and my body actually blocks the signal too. I figured that out while I was out here. I made a couple of laps around the bases. And yeah, if, you <laughs> if one of the beacons is behind you, the signal's not going to go through your body. I think that's a good thing. We're on our way to third base now. Let's get our reading at third base here. There we go. You can see threes in the 50s and one and four are in the 90s. Two doesn't show up here. Now oh, we picked up something else. I don't know what F2 is. Okay, so now I'm headed home. We'll see what kind of readings we get at the fourth beacon here. Okay, like we expect, four is going to drop down into the 60s, and one and three are in the 80s and 90s. I don't see that we're picking up two from here. Yeah, we can't pick up two from here. All right. 
So then, of course, we go out into the middle of the field here again. I'm on the pitcher's mound. It's kind of equidistant to all of the beacons. And let's get a reading now. There we go. Four and two, three, one. We pick them all up. And they all seem to be pretty equal. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this exploration of Bluetooth or BLE Received Signal Strength Indicator. Leave a comment down below on what you think you'd like to try with this. And Akil, I hope this answers your question. Look forward to more comments. Give this video a like. And before you go on to watch more of my TTGO T-Display videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.